On screen, you can see a layout that someone posted in a Facebook group, and they wanted to know how can I go and create this layout. Now, I'm putting out two videos today. One of them is a Flexbox container, and one is a CSS grid with the use of a code snippet to really help yourself out. The video we're gonna cover off today is the CSS grid one. Let's get started. Creating that layout with CSS grid is pretty simple. And if you're happy to use a bit of span for your row and column to get the particular widths and heights, it is really easy. But if you wanna help yourself out, go and get hold of this code snippet. And I've already got it added over here. The link is in the video description. We shared this before, Mark Harris helped create it. And there's the code. What you do is you go and copy that go and create a brand new snippet and just paste it in. You don't have to modify anything within here. And of course, make sure you're using code snippets, the world's most amazing code snippet plugin that you can get for free. Once you've saved and activated that code snippet, you will now see a little feature over here called CSS Grid Helper. And this is gonna help us to design our layout. But before we do that, bearing in mind what this particular layout that was shared uh, looks like, Let's go and first set it up on our page. We're in Elemental and what we want to do is first use the grid layout. Now I'm just going to go and click this. Our layout is going to be five columns with two rows and then we're going to align the items. Now I'm not doing it exactly to scale as to what the image wanted or with the contents, but I just want to show you how you could create the layout. So once we've gone and added in the grid, down here where we have the columns and rows, I'm going to set this to be five and two. So we can see our layout over there. And then into here, I'm gonna drop in five containers because if you look at the layout, we got one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm just gonna add in five containers. There's our five containers. I've colored them so they're easier to see. And this parent grid, I've gonna set the gaps for the column and the row at the moment to be zero, just so that we can see exactly how everything looks. Now let's go back over to our grid helper because we know that we are working with two rows and five columns so just make sure that matches the layout that you are going for here because otherwise you know things aren't going to be synchronized i want my first container that sits within the grid to only be one block so it's going to start at row one and it's going to end at row one and it's going to start at column one and it's going to end at column one as well basically it's only going to fill this area here so if i now go and hit add block set you can see the first one occupies just that area now let's go and do block two, which is gonna go from row one to row one, but column two to column three. One, one, and then we're gonna go from two to three, and then I'm gonna hit add block. And you will now see that it's now showing me that when we eventually paste the CSS, that is what it will cover. Now let's go and do the next one, and I'm now gonna focus on these ones down here. So the third one is gonna be on row two to two, and it's gonna go from column one to column two. Let's add that in and you can see what it's done. Now we'll do the fourth one, which is gonna be on row two to two. So it only occupies row two and it's gonna start at column three and it's gonna end at column three. We'll add that in. And then the final one is gonna start at row one, but it's gonna end at row two because it's gonna be taller. And it's gonna start at column four and end at column five. So column four, go to column five. And you can now see the layout. It is not to scale as to what that design is that you can see on screen, but you get the idea. It is the layout. Now what I'm gonna do is just copy that code. Pretty simple, right? Go back over to our page, go to our parent grid, go to the advanced tab, go to custom CSS, and then paste this in. Just double check it hasn't gone. Sometimes right, it might add in an extra block, even though we only have five. If so, just get rid of that. Now, at the moment, nothing has changed because it doesn't know where to apply it. So I'm gonna change this to be G1 with a dot, dot G2, dot G3, dot G4, and dot G5. I hope you follow the pattern. You might give it a better name. Then I'm gonna go into all of my individual containers. Go to my advanced tab and make sure I put the relevant class, so G1. Container number two is gonna be G2. Container three is G3. Container four is G4. And the fifth one is G5. And look what it's done. Can you see the layout? And you're gonna say, well, it's very narrow and squashed up. Yeah, okay, let's just go over to the parent grid, go to our layout. I'm just gonna go and set the height to be something like that. And already we're starting to see what was being done before. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's go and add in a bit more space. Let's go over to our grid and I'm just gonna say, give me 20 in between and around all of the little gritty items. And you know what? Let's go to the parent, not the parent grid, grid one. Let's go and add in a border of say 15. 
And I'm just going to actually copy and paste the style. Yeah, let's just go. Paste style, paste style, paste style, paste style. Now, by the way, I don't recommend you doing that because the moment you do that, everything becomes G1. OK, but I've just shown you that, you know, if you did that before you did the containers, you could do. Fine, I go and drop in some items and I'm just going to make this text be white really quickly. And I'm just going to duplicate it many times. And we just view it as a preview. We're getting the layout with a grid because we're using span and what this grid helper did or did or does for us is it basically gives us the code look there's your code for you that you can take now and use how you want and you can tinker with the code this is the other beauty about what we have here if you suddenly realize actually i want this one not to be as wide as that you just go over go to the advanced tab you can either get some brand new code or you just rethink it to so take block two right it goes one to two but it's only on row one because it's all about the intersecting lines or the edges. Row one or intersection one, two, three. So this goes from one to two. Look at the code for column two to four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes two to four, which is what it's doing then. If you look at this one over here, it goes four to six in terms of column because one, two, three, four five six so i hope that makes sense but if you're not used to using like grid row grid column like uh syntax like that this bit of css growth is going to massively help you out however i do want to add a little bit extra if you were to now go over to mobile this is how it's going to look if you go over to tablet this is how it looks and yes you could modify the size of the text yes you could shrink your images or whatever sits inside of here down and adjust but maybe you might go, well, when we get to the tablet, I actually want everything in grid five or container five to actually be below. I don't mind it being a two by two, but then I want the fifth one to be right below. I don't want it like that. What you want to do is go over to your CSS and instead you want to add in an at media. I'm making this really simple. So I've just said only apply everything we're seeing now when the minimum width is 801, you could put 769, 768. I'm just putting 801 because I want to make a bit of a point here. And once you add that in, make sure you close off the curly bracket at the bottom. So what will happen is that is only going to apply when you are over 800. Now, there is a bit of a problem with this. Let me show you. Look, you go to the mobile and now everything is stacked. So it's working great for the mobile. And I know you're going to say it looks narrow, but that's because we haven't added in any content. And don't forget, you can go to your containers and, you know, you can adjust them accordingly for what you want when you get onto different responsive sizes. So on the desktop, fine. On the mobile, fine. On the tablet, we now get this. And this is where I would recommend you add in a copy of the code. Let's just copy all of that. You paste it in below and you change the at media. And this time I'm going to say apply a new set of rules when the size is between 500 and 800. That's why I went and put 801 in. So I'm saying for the mobile, just leave it as it is. So you'll just have it all stacked. But when you're between 500 and 800, I want you to do something a little different. So now I'm going to modify what I say here, because in actual fact, when you get to the tablet, which is roughly this size here, I don't want you to be five and two. I'm going to change that because now I only need one, two, three columns going across. And in terms of rows, it's going to be one, two and four like that. So I'm now increasing what we have below. If I'm unsure, I can go back and get the code over here and refine it. Or I can just modify the values. So block one won't change. Block two won't change. Block three won't change. Block four won't change, but block five will, because now we start at a different level. So in terms of the row, it's one, two, three. We start at three and we go to five. So we're going to start at three and we're going to go to five like that. And in terms of column, we're going to start at one and end at four. And there we go. So now we have a different layout. So when we get to the mobile, it's stacking. When we get to the desktop, it does that. When we get to the tablet, it does this. So we are now creating our layout because it's very easy to do this and go, yeah, I've got my layout. Amazing. This might not work for you very well if you're not careful and adjusting it for the tablet as well. I hope the CSS grid helper and these tips about setting up your spanned grid to get the layout you want and accounting for the tablet as well and the mobile 
works for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.